HQTs and happy hump day evening. Now, a food fight might be fun amongst friends, but Miranda Lambert apparently dumped her meal on a stranger the other night. During an argument, we hear the country star tossed her salad onto a woman at a steakhouse. Ooh, spicy. I'm sure she was frugal enough to keep the steak to herself, though. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your well season presenter at your phone's epicenter, and this is HQ Trivia, where sharing your food isn't quite as rude. This, of course, is season two of HQ. It's super-sized and full of surprises. You just never know what can happen when we're live. Might have food dumped on your head. It could be anything. Now, last season, of course, tons of you earned billions of points, helping you win major money. You've asked for more. So we're giving you just that. For every point earned by players this season, the prize will get huger and huger until the season finale at the end of this month. Okay, let's feast our eyes on the prize right now. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, look at that. It now stands at $83,689. That is a lot of cash right there, and who knows just how high it will go. It's already pretty whopping. Now, you win points by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass keeps you in the game even when you get a question wrong. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. You want to make it all the way to level 10 if you can. You certainly do because if you hit level 10 that means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win hq for the rest of the season and strap in please because this season we're giving out way more cash than we did the last time around a lot of money now tonight you are playing for five thousand dollars and a whole lot of points to help you boost your status in the game and level up level up level up even faster that's right now don't forget Lives can also keep you in the game. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. That's how you stay in the game if you get a question wrong. You can also earn one for free by playing five days in a row. Just one thing though, you can't use it on the final round. Okay, I hope you've cleaned your plate and your lap because it's time to get to the quizzing. Here we go players, let's do it. It's Q1. Which of these shapes has corners? Oval, square, sphere. Now, you learned this when you were about three years old. Hopefully you've got a good memory. If you tapped anything other than square, you need to go stand in a corner for the rest of the game, because it's square, of course. The only thing here with corners, 311,000 of you. Got that right, fair and square. The only circle that has corners is that botched one you made with your Etch-a-Sketch, and that does not count, sadly. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, we've got all the loving you need right here at HQ. At 3 p.m. Eastern, we are hitting you with a game of sweet treats trivia. All the goodies that you'll be giving and getting and are sure to be delicious. Then, at 9 p.m. Eastern, hello, lover. If you miss Carrie, Samantha, Miranda, and Charlotte, and I know you do, it's time to relive all the fun. Sex in the City trivia, and there is no better day for it than Valentine's Day. I can't wait. Q2. A well-known lyric from Hamilton goes, I am not throwing away what? Items that spark joy. My shot. These recyclables. Keep the trash can close, because two of them are going in. Marie Kondo did not star in Hamilton, so you can chuck away any items you please. Just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and so is this guy. My shot is the answer. And did you shoot your shot there? 263,000 of you did. Performed by Lynn Manuel, Miranda, and crew, the song is utterly brilliant. Now, have you heard the word? Hello, word nerds! We have a new live game show called HQ Words, where you solve word puzzles to win cash. If you know how to spell, then you know how to win. Come out and play and win some money. Words is coming up next, right after trivia, hosted by the word nerd herself, Anna Roisman. If you want to try it out, tap that button right now. Just tap it, go ahead and subscribe. It's gonna be fun. Check it out tonight, 
Word up. Who's ready for Q3? Let's go, people. Which of these short words is a preposition? Is the on preposition. This game's gonna be short for you. You get this wrong. Three of the most commonly used words in the English language, but which one do you propose is the preposition? It's on and popping. On, of course, is the answer that we were looking for here. 193,000 of you are on it. We lost over 100,000 of you there. That was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Now, a preposition often indicates the location of a noun or pronoun, like when your base says, what are you doing on your phone again? Ah, oh, just slipping into someone's DMs. That's all. Q4. What author's name appears on the books that make up a series of unfortunate events? Rastus Grunch, Lemony Snicket, Horace Trilby. Three unfortunate names right there. A series of unfortunate events. If you tapped on Rastus Grunch, that's one more unfortunate event to add to the list. The novels where nothing good ever happened. Lemony Snicket is the name in question here. 267,000 of you making lemonade out of lemons. Lemony Snicket is both the author and a character in the books. His more fortunate real name is Daniel Handler. Can you handle the truth? Can you handle Q5? Which of these titles does not feature Reginald Bell Johnson as a policeman? Terminator 2, Die Hard, Family Matters. It's a very prestigious sounding name, isn't it? Reginald Bell Johnson. Kind of cool. Bell Johnson has made a career out of playing cops on screen, but he didn't get his cuffs on Arnie. Oh no. If you got this right, you'll be back. <laughs> because it's Terminator 2. That's what we were looking for. Oh, that was brutal. That was a brutal one right there. It really was, but 145,000 of you terminated Q5. From Carl Winslow on Family Matters to Sergeant Powell and Die Hard, Bill Johnson is Hollywood's hotshot cop. Q6. What small European nation was the primary setting for the Battle of the Bulge? San Marino, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg. Battle of the Bulge sound. Familiar to anyone, perhaps? No, we're not talking about the battle with our bulging tummies. That takes place in the gym. This World War II battle went down in Luxembourg. That's where 194,000 of you bulging through to the next round. The Germans seem to be winning as they cut into the Allied front, but they ended up surrounded by the enemy. Foiled again. Q7, halfway. Animals capable, capable of brachiation tend to live where? Desert, ocean, jungle. Brachiation, what could that possibly be? If you went for ocean, you're up the creek without a paddle, I'm afraid. Hopefully the word brachiation didn't break you here. Jungle, that's where it takes place. And that was a savage question. Terribly savage here at the halfway mark. 160,000 of you are gone. That was so painful to watch, but 57,000 of you made it through that savage. Ah, you were broken there. Now, brachiation is a cheap way to travel by swinging from branch to branch like this guy. A bit hard to do in the ocean or desert though, isn't it? That was rough. Q8. Which game was not invented in Massachusetts? Wiffle ball, basketball, volleyball. The ball is in your court, players. The ball is in your court. MA has spawned some of the best sports ever, but which one was invented in Connecticut? The backyard version of baseball, wiffle ball, which I had never heard of before, but now I know wiffle ball is the answer, and that was a toughie as well. We lost half of you there, but 38,925 of you are balling. Now, played with a light plastic ball and bat, wiffle ball was once declared unsafe for kids by New York State, but no one took them seriously, and it was game on. Q9. Croatia's flag minus the coat of arms that most closely resembles which country's flag? Russia, France, Netherlands. Don't start flagging already. You're almost there. But Q9 already. Red, white, and blue has been done in every style and design you can think of. And all these countries are prime examples. Croatia's flag without the frills. It's the Netherlands. Nether say never, but you said it anyway. 31,000 of you did. Delete Croatia's checkered shield and you'll be flying the flag of the Netherlands. And there's your proof right there. Q10. 
10, let's do it. What's the only non-metallic element that is liquid at room temperature? Bromine, fluorine, iodine. This one's going out to the chemists out there. I know you've got it. Iodine is a solid answer. It's wrong, but it's a solid. The only non-metal element that's runny in the room is bromine. You know what I mean? 26,000 of you know what I mean. Bromine is a volatile liquid and toxic to the human body. So warning, don't drink it ever. Now remember, HQ Words is coming up next, right after HQ Trivia. So keep your phones closed, HQTs. You do not want to miss it. The penultimate round is Q11. What is the English translation of the cooking method where a plastic pouch of food cooks in medium hot water in the spa, under vacuum, living sauce? You're gonna be in medium hot water yourself if you get this wrong. If you went for in the spa, you just got sauteed, I'm afraid. Another name for sous vide is under vacuum. I know it's kind of a weird term, but it's true. 22,000 of you cleaning up. Under vacuum is a temperature control process that never reaches boiling point. But we're turning up the heat, all right, because we're steaming into the final round. With 22,000 players still left in the game right now, another 790 using their extra lives to get back in. There's a lot of you still left. $5,000 in the bag. Go get the cash. It's Q12. Which company once made an unsuccessful video game console aimed specifically at girls? Microsoft, Apple, Casio. This one's for the ladies. The ladies didn't want it. The intentions were great, but the product kind of sucked. Aimed at female gamers, they slapped on some hearts and made it purple. Girls weren't convinced and the console disappeared into obscurity. Now viewed as a prized possession, it's the Casio Loopy for the win. We've got 5,978 winners, you smashed it. <laughs> was a rough Q12. That was savage in itself. Congrats to our 5,978 winners. So you're taking home 40 or 84 cents right there. Well done. We've got Stephen who's coupled up and ready for Valentine's Day. Molly D237. We've got the Power Ranger, uh, Orange Peel and Chuff Bean who's pretty chuffed right now. Uh, well done to all of our winners tonight. You're totally slayed. Congrats to all of you for playing and scoring all those points today that will help you level up so you can win big cash. And remember, we're giving away more money than we did last season with lots of surprises on the way. So keep your phones close. You do not want to miss any of it. Well done, HQTs. You made a meal out of that game and it wasn't too messy. You came, you played, and you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me on the socials. Don't be shy now. Stop by, say hi. And of course, we're back tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. with two very special Valentine's Day shows and plenty of loving. Until then, have an awesome night. I will see you then. Bye.